Okay, everyone. Now here it says that let a random variable x again have a PDF of what what is given right here, and as you can read that, and it goes from zero to one, and if everywhere else is zero, determine the CDF and of x and graph it. So, what is the CDF? The CDF is cumulative distribution function and PDF is the probability density function. So remember, like I said before, the probability density function is you know part of what we call the uh, continuous variable. It's not discrete. So we have to use the the uh, the, the integral integral summation to work with this one. So first thing, how do we find a CDF from the PDF? Here, the first, one find, the first thing to find, to do, is to first type and write down the integral sign. Then, you, don't, you want to make it from negative infinity all the way to x, because x is your biggest number here. Then, because we have x, Instead, when if you time, if you multiply two times one minus x, you get two minus two x. But because we already have x here, I'm gonna put t instead and dt because it's an integral. Now, what do we do now? What we do is we need to find what it would equal to if we get x. And when you're doing integral, you know that would be equal to as you as the unknown is t, then you get two t minus t squared. And I, I hope you guys remember your calculus. And basically, when you see anything like that, like a negative infinity on the bottom, it's not really negative infinity. They're saying it's just from where it starts. We know that it starts from zero, as you can see here. So it's basically from zero all the way to x. Why x? Because x is in between zero and one. We don't know exactly what x is, so we can say to one, because it might not be equal to one. So we have to put x as the mean of saying we don't know exactly what the range is. Is that I hope you guys, I hope you guys understand that. So x is not as if, oh, we know it's going to be equal to 1. Well, it may not be equal to 1. And, oh, we know it's not, it's not going to be equal to 1. Well, it may actually be equal to 1. So we just put x as a way of saying, whatever the answer is, is what it's going to be. So x is the right answer to put in this case. And now you will get 2x minus 2, minus x amount, actually. Let me put that in the bottom. Two x minus x squared. Now, how do we write the CDF? CDF. It would be whenever x is less than zero. If x is less than zero, or x is, yeah. If x is less than zero. Then it's zero. Uh, I wrote the one to again. Okay. It's zero if x is less than zero. Now it's two x minus x squared if zero less than or equal to x less than one now less than one because it's continuous it doesn't make any difference whether it's less than or equal to or just less than it does not make any difference don't forget that part because in continuous you won't be able to say oh it's 1.999 because i could add another nine at the end again so we don't really know exactly where it finishes so less than or less than or equal to they are equal to the same thing. 
and continuous variable. Then it will be one if one less than x. So uh, less than or equal to x, basically. This is what the CDF is after you find it. And this is probably not the best way to explain it, but it is the best way actually right now to explain it. Because it's, you will understand as you practice more, because it's not like something you can understand round the bat. You have to practice to understand why it happens the way it is. Now, we have to graph this now. How do we graph this? We take a calculator. I already have it set up into Y. And then I'm going to type in the 2X minus X squared. So 2X minus X to the power of 2. And I click enter. Then I'm going to click on that green button. Click on window. Now I'm going to make the X minimum to be negative, let's say, 2.5. And the max to be 4. Then I'm going to switch to the Y mean, negative, okay, 2.5. And the max, 4. Then I click on the green button and click on graph. And see what it shows me. Here we go. Now that we have this, I'm going to customize the window. Because remember, what we are looking for is from 0 to 1. It's from 0 to 1. So I'm going to make it from 0 to 1 now. So I'm going to window again. Minimum will be, let's say, zero, minimum zero, maximum I put 1.1, .1. and y minimum would be zero, and maximum I put one, or I will just put two instead, I put two, and then I will click on the graph again, and now I have a better picture of that. This is how it actually looks like in your calculator. This is one right here. So I'm going to click on F5 for tables and number 7 for derivatives, for integrals. Lower limit is 0, enter. Upper limit is 1, enter. No, 1, enter. And here is the graph now. The graph actually tells you that the area under the curve is 0 0.667. This is the area under the curve, basically. So this is how you graph a PDF, uh, a, P a CDF function uh, from a PDF. Uh, I posted a picture, a, a video before where I had to graph a PDF function, and this one is how to graph the CDF from a PDF, and this is how you do it. I hope you guys understand, and I know, I know it's not going to be easy to understand, but I hope you guys understand this part, and please go over it uh, as you do in your homework, and you will actually understand it better. I thought right now, that's it, that's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you, and have a good time.